I usually don't think uh, of what I do as a sort of artist, artistic, right? But in fact, it is. Because as you say, creativity is everywhere. I mean, and your people uh, normally draw these, these sharp distinction between, let's say, the sciences on the one hand, or even some of the humanities like philosophy, and, and then the arts, right? Uh, music and painting and all that sort of stuff. But in fact, I, I've actually occasionally argued that it takes a lot of creativity to be a decent scientist. You know, it's, it's not, there's, since there is no such thing, you know, the scientific method is not an algorithm that you sit there and apply step by step like a computer. It needs creativity. You know, good scientists, I don't, I don't want to talk about exceptional scientists, but even good scientists, if they don't, if they don't engage in creative uh, thinking they're they're nothing they're, they're just technicians the same goes for philosophy good philosophy needs to be creative so so i think that uh, you know in the last few years i've started thinking about what i do uh, and of course when it comes to writing especially writing for a general public then you definitely need to be creative you're not just repeating somebody else's ideas you have to put your own uh sort of heart and soul into, into it 